This is Mantala Business Class Lounge in Malpesa International Airport in Milan. I'm Andre, you're watching Accented Reviews. Let's go and check it out. Okay guys, so we're just getting up the escalator to the Mantala Business Class Lounge. We are almost there, so um, yeah, exciting. First time here, so let's see what Italians have come up with here. All right, let's show our ticket to the ladies here. Thank you very much. Right, let's go check it out, finally in. If you do travel business class from Milan airport, you get such a nice perks like a fast track security. So that's definitely helps because it's a quite a busy airport. Surely that's a very nice view out of the window here. So yeah, not too bad. Inside that uh, looks like it's a fairly small lounge. Panoramic panoramic views though through the windows that's that's pretty cool all right let's continue our walk as you guys can see it is fairly crowded okay here's a bar with coffee machine there now a few drinks some water here wine glasses wine now with the drinks we do get fairly basic Campari, Bacardi, not sure what's that. No idea what it is. Some grappa. Now some basic salads. Fruits. Sandwiches. More fruits, yogurts. And there is a coffee machine there. The lady just cleaning it. The juice station, some fruits, and yeah, that's <laughs> that's really it. All right, let's have a walk around further down the room. And that's it, guys. That's all the seating arrangements here. Now here we have a family room. So there is a TV there, a few chairs. I guess that's for the kids. And of course you are in Europe, so you're allowed to smoke inside of the airport. So there is a nice smoking room here. Stuff only. Oh, here's another room here. That's actually a little bit more quieter here. Now the rush hour rooms, which is here, looks like it's accessed by some sort of pin combination, so you probably need to get it on the reception. And that's really it, guys. We are back. Okay, toilets are here. Yeah, sorry, that's the last, the most important bit, I guess. <laughs> And that's it, we are back to the entry. So we just walked around, here's the reception again. So, yeah, not really much to see here. A little bit disappointing, to be honest. I would have expected it would be a little bit more space over here. But the views out of the window is great, that's for sure. All right, stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's have a look. Bit of a closer to what's available here on offer and once again it's very basic as you can see takeaway cups paper cups now here we have a tea station fairly messy they also not really filling in the stations you know pineapples are missing yogurts over there now look Look at this. This is just your paper plates. That's 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 very cheap, very stingy. Okay, so there's some focaccia, some sandwiches, some cheese. Here we have a, I think it's still water, 
orange juice once again paper cups some fruits some biscuits nuts chips three or four choices of salad soup now very very basic choice of alcohol and to be honest very cheap choice of alcohol never heard of Bosford London dry gin to be honest with you well at least you get a proper glasses here microwave another coffee machine and a choice of some wines once again one two three four four different choices and some sparkling water here as well that's all so yeah very basic so guys what's my final thoughts on uh, the business class lounge here in Malpeza International Airport in Milan um, look it's very basic very very basic to be honest I'm a little bit disappointed I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger than that uh, look the one probably positive thing I can say is the panoramic view out of the window you literally get anywhere you sit you still get a view to the tarmac but everything else is really really disappointing you know choice of spirit and alcohol fairly basic food is extremely basic you know even little things like paper plates and you know paper cups I mean seriously it's a business class lounge you guys can do better than that you can invest into some cutlery and some plates and some cups and glasses so um, yeah not impressed but you know what I'm lucky enough I only have to spend here 40 minutes so uh, it's sufficient for that matter but if you do have to sit here for a few hours I reckon you're gonna get bored and it's probably not gonna be as comfortable as any other lounges in the big airports 